Hello, citizens, and welcome back. This is our match reaction to our 3-0 win in the FIFA Club World Cup semi-final. Um, yeah, so make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe. Let's jump into it, get out of the way. So look, first half, it's quite a dull first half. It's quite boring, you know, and I think City are somewhat the... We're, we're our own problem at times. If you look at how many borders we throw for, we, you know, we're passing it sideways, going left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. We overload the middle of the pitch, you know, because we bring the full backs in as well. So we've got so many bodies in that middle. And then every team we play against, they bombard the middle as well. So they've got all 11 players camped on the edge of their box. We've got nine players camped on the edge of their box. There's just nowhere for us to go. There's no space to work into. So all this passing sideways, it doesn't do anything because they don't even have to run to close us down or stop us. All we're doing is walking them around the pitch. So the first half was quite dull. It was quite boring. Nothing happening. There was a few... Chances from Roger. I say chances. There's a few shots from Roger from 35 yards out that went wide. You know, he looked the most likely to get on the score sheet because he was the one actually trying to shoot. But look, the goal came from the fact that we actually mixed things up a little bit because once we move Foden from the right-hand side and put him in the middle as our false nine, then we started to look more positive. Then we started to look a bit more incisive. And it comes from um, a little bit more space, a counter-attack for us. Nunes gets the ball on the halfway line, spins, runs about 30, 40 yards, you know, and he managed to get the cross in in the end and the defender puts it into his goal. But again, it's because we picked up the pace a little bit. We weren't slowing the game down because I'm sick of watching us play the ball into the box. You know, we can have like 80% possession. We can make like 600 passes. Then once we get inside the box or towards the six-yard area, all we do is turn around and pass it back to Akanji or Ake. It happens every single time we go forward. And that first half was dreadful. But look, went in 1 0, and the game changed from then on because they pushed out a little bit. They really created nothing in that second half. I think we only limited them to one shot throughout the match. So they pushed out a little bit, but then we had so much space to work into. And again, because Fordham was in the middle, every time we picked up the ball, he was looking for the half turn, he's looking for his through ball, he's looking to get shots away. We looked much more dangerous. And once the second goal went in from uh, Kovacic, which was a wonderful bit of play, to be honest, by Walker. Walker wins it, then feeds the ball through about 40 yards out. Um, yeah, past about 40 yards, midway inside our own half, midway inside their half. Cover just runs onto it, gets into the box, smashes it into the roof. I thought the keeper could have stood up longer, could have done better, but whatever, 2 0 up. Went 3 0 up soon after. Bernardo Silva with a deflected goal. And from then on, the game died. Pep made the substitutions, which I agree with. You know, he mixed, he took um, Stones off, Rodri off, Foden off. And, you know, he brought Guardiola on, played him in the middle alongside Ake in the end with Gomez on the left. So that defense, we had three le uh, left footers. And some of them players that came on as well, you look at Guardiola, he came on. I thought he looked much better in the center because he could get forward with a little bit more freedom. You know, because once we camp up inside their half, our center halves are like our last line defense, but they step up, they try and create things. And Guardiola went on an amazing 30, 40 yard run. But what sums up our season it's kind of the game that he had and the Grealish had that there were some really good moments from both of them. But then their decision making once they get inside the box or the final third, it's just a bit of a disaster. Gardo, after making that 40 yard run, honestly, skips past a couple of defenders, gets into the box. Instead of just whacking it with his left foot, tries to feed it through to um, Alvarez on his right and it never makes it. And Grealish again, always looking to quit inside. But when he goes on the outside, it looks much more dangerous. But then he holds on to the ball for too long and then just runs out of play. Like I think he did it twice. Once you get that extra yard of space, because you're not going to get it with all them bodies just camped in um, the final third for them, just pop the ball in the box, take a shot. I just want to see that more often from us. You know, just a lot Folden does. That's why Folden is so good, having learned from um, David Silver. He gets the ball, turns, he just wants to attack their goal. Not enough of our players do that. They always want to take an extra three, four touches. I mean, look at Grealish again. He gets the ball um, to what, like the 75th minute or something like that. Um, it was a nice flick from... Possibly Alvarez or Fold and one of them gets the ball. He's got a chance to shoot with the keeper right in front of him, but then he decides to take about six, seven, eight, nine, ten touches, and then just runs it into trouble. Oh shoot, for the love of God, stop taking so many touches with the ball. Well, that goes for everyone. I think Nunes looks better when he's not doing that, when he's just looking to run at their defense and try and feed the ball off or get a shot away. Because Nunes could be a really good play for us. You know, you just gotta get into that way of thinking that it can be a bit more decisive going forward. Grealish, you know, he's back in full flow. He's back, looks fully fit again, but use that extra yard of space that you win. Um, and right inside, you've got Bernardo on there, who's pretty much a waste because he's so good in the middle. We played it false nine to begin with. 
we weren't creating anything. We weren't doing anything. And he always wanted to fall back into our own half and help out there. So once we moved him onto the right hand side and put fold in the middle, we were much better there. But then Bernardo was wasted on the right. So you got to find a happy balance because I don't think Pep's found it yet with him because he's got Kovacic in the middle. He was doing a pretty good job, in my opinion. I thought Roger had a good game. Like I said, the first half, he looked like he was going to score the goals for us. Um, Pep rested him for the last half hour, which was good. Our defense was, I'd say, much better, but Urara didn't really offer much. We kept the clean sheet, which is absolutely massive because the fact that we're considering so many goals. I mean, when you score four goals in a game, you expect to win. When you score three goals in a game, you expect to win. When you score two goals at home, we expect to win. We've not done any of that in the last couple of months. So keep a clean sheet is big for the team. It's big for the defense's confidence as well because there were a couple of scary moments that Edison bailed us out of. Uh, so, yeah, it, it was a good winner in the end. And we're going to the final on Friday against Fluminense, a better team than we played today, so it's going to be a bigger test. I'm looking forward to it and hopefully we can bring the trophy home. So yeah, keep an eye out for the watch, uh, watch along for that one on Friday. I'm going to be doing that. Keep an eye out as well for the match uh, preview the day before. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. Let me know how you think the game went. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.